And more breaking news now. This time as we learn new details about the latest mass shooting in the U.S. This time four people are dead, more than a dozen others injured in Kansas. And this morning we've learned that the suspected gunman has ties to Florida and is no stranger to police. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman is in the newsroom live with the latest information. Mark, what's going on with this situation? David, overnight we learned more information about how all of this unfolded. I want to show you where all of this is happening. This is in a spot north of Wichita. Investigators say the gunman opened fire as he was driving to this lawnmower plant in the town of Heston. This is where the bulk of the violence unfolded. And this morning, through law enforcement sources, we've also learned the man responsible is this person. His name is Cedric Ford, and he's someone with close ties to the Sunshine State. When I really fell, I just. Knew that I had to get out of there. Speaking from his hospital bed, a survivor describes the chaos unfolding in Kansas when the gunman opened fire. We heard gunshots and people were just running, saying there was somebody was shooting. Police say the man shooting was 38 year old Cedric Ford, a painter at the Excel Industries plant north of Wichita. We've learned Ford is from Miami and lived in Miramar until 2011. Popped out with AK 47. It appeared like and fired a few shots outside before he went in and then ducked down and went into the building. Authorities say Ford killed three and injured at least a dozen people before killing himself Thursday afternoon. Records show he had a criminal history in Florida that included burglary and grand theft in 2004. He also was arrested twice for fleeing from police. After seeing this scene unfold, co workers finding it difficult to imagine how someone they worked alongside could be responsible. And, uh, Seem not this kind of person, that's for sure. At least 10 of those injured remain in critical condition this morning. Investigators have ruled out terrorism in the shooting, but so far, a motive has not been found. David? Such a sad story there, Mark. Thank you for the update.